Today I'm going to talk with you about one of the spiritual biggies, and that is to not try to maintain control from the human mind. You know, we get a problem and we grip onto it, and we don't want to release it, even when we go into prayer. In the beginning, we just release it for a minute, and then when God doesn't heal it immediately, take care of it immediately, we grab it back with all of its worry, with all of its fear, with all of its anxiety. And what does that do to us? It cripples us. It, it defeats our energy. It keeps our hand locked so that we're not open to receive, also our mind locked, so we're not open to receive the divine ideas that can come to solve the challenge. So we use these words. They're simple, but they're profound. I now let go and let God. I now let go and I let God. Say that with me. I now let go and let God. Whenever we say these words, I now let go and let God, silently or aloud, we are preparing ourselves for a spiritual renewal and a divine outworking. And so now we let go of any tension that is in our body and we let the healing, renewing life of God move through us. We feel as if we have opened the floodgates of divine energy and life. We now let go of any thought of unforgiveness and we let that pure love of God flow through us. The love of God loves through us and blesses our relationships with acceptance, understanding, and harmony. We now let go of any tendency to force something to happen. Oh, how many times I've tried to do that with disaster most of the time. And I've let God show me the way when I finally let go and then all good was released. Now you know that the experiences of each day are mile markers on your own unique journey of growing spirituality. And you know that one of your things to do to follow God is to let go and let God. It says in 2 Peter, Men and women moved by the Holy Spirit spoke from God. Well, the speaking from God is more than just vocal. It is, is speaking in your actions, is speaking in your attitude speaking in your feeling that you have inside of yourself. I pray that as you let go and let God, that your whole soul, your whole countenance will speak of a oneness. With authority, you will know that God is taking care of everything. And you are following the lead of God. You're taking action when God directs you to take action in the right way. I pray that 2018 is a year of letting go and letting God, and it is a year of letting God's blessing flow through you and your life without you blocking it. In Jesus Christ's name, amen.